Hi there, this is Beth from the Sterling Public Library and I'm here to talk to you about a couple more books from our young adult collection. The first one is this one, it's brand new and it's called Pride and Premeditation by Teresa Price. Uh, it just came out yesterday. Uh, it is a Pride and Prejudice retelling. It uh, does take place in Regency England, just like the original, uh, but it is also a mystery. So Lizzie Bennett is a, uh, her father runs a law firm and she longs to follow in his footsteps, but she is a woman and that's just not looked on very well in Regency England. So she decides she needs to prove herself by solving a murder mystery. So Charles Bingley has been accused of murdering his brother-in-law and so she sets out to prove that he's innocent and to figure out who really did it. Unfortunately for her, Charles Bingley's best friend, Mr. Darcy, is also a lawyer and he is also working the case. So the two of them are sort of competing, sort of working together. And of course, as in the original, when they first meet, they have bad first impressions, but things happen throughout the story. So I really liked this uh, retelling. I liked what she did with the characters, um, how she put them in different situations from the original. Super interesting, super fun. Um, the mystery was also interesting, uh, ended up being quite complicated uh, and, uh, and interesting to, to figure out what happened. So uh, this was sort of a, a fun retelling. Um, it was a mystery and there was a murder, but I would say it's more along toward the spectrum of the cozy mystery than a super gritty edge of your seat thriller. So if you like Pride and Prejudice or you like mysteries, uh, give this one a shot. It was a lot of fun. Uh, anyway, good going. The other one I want to talk about, it's this one. It's called The Magnolia Sword, A Ballad of Mulan by Sherry Thomas. This one came out in 2019, and this is also a retelling. So go retellings. This is a retelling of Mulan. <clears throat> so Mulan is uh, her her family owns one of a pair of these exquisite swords and every generation someone in her family fights a duel to try and gain both swords. Her father in fact was injured in his own duel and is paralyzed so he has trained her her whole life so she is very very skilled. Shortly before this duel is to happen the empire goes to war and sends out a conscription that every family must send one one male to fight. And of course, Mulan's father is paralyzed, her brother is too young, so she dresses as a man and goes to fight. So this, uh, this version is, of Mulan is, is very good. It's not as fun as the Disney version, but it's super interesting. Uh, has a bit of politics, has a whole lot of martial arts. Um, a couple of things I really liked about this one, the characters, the main characters, especially Mulan and the male lead are uh, <coughs> very real. Uh, and they have, they're not only very skilled, in martial arts but they have fears and they have vulnerabilities and they're not perfect so i did like that the other thing i liked about this book is that the deception obviously there's a deception she just dresses a man to go fight but it's not it doesn't play as big of a role in the story as say in the in the disney version um i'm not a big fan of the trope where there's a big deception and it blows up in everybody's face when it when you find out uh, this is a, kind of a small plot point and nothing ever blows up. It's never a huge deal. But anyway, <clears throat> this is probably one of my favorite uh, versions of Mulan I've ever read or heard. Um, and so I, if you like retellings, give this one a shot. Okay, that's all I have for today. I will see you guys next time.